Hi there, welcome to number one geek. It is I, Saz. I just realised that the lights don't seem to be working anymore, even though the generator is, is on. I'm just wondering if I ought to switch that off. Yes, we're back with some more projects on wood. I could probably refill it later. There's no point putting it on if the lights ain't working. Um, yeah, so as I said, I did some housekeeping. Hello, cat. What do you want now? What are you doing? Trying to get to me, to get my attention, are you? Cats. Anyway, as I said before, did some housekeeping, as you may notice. My carpentry, I have actually done that up. And today, we are going back to the base building operation that we started a while back. Um, there was no point in me continuing until I had that um, that book, which I did find at the other base, uh, which pretty much allowed me to come back and do the base building, but it also allowed me to clean out the um, the base over the road. The, uh, oh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. I'm going to have to run back. Oh, no, I can jump over the fence. I forgot you can jump over fences now, can't you? Um yeah so it allows me to um to clean out and finish what my last character started i also realized that i had basically creamed my last character who was in his underpants he was the character in the underpants so that was that was that um what else what else did i do today yesterday yeah i, I got all the bits and pieces that i needed oh i know i recovered the backpack i will need to recover at some point the vehicle is left there and the ambulance if you remember uh, i had an ambulance there that was sorted out uh i think i put fuel in it and i think i may have hello where's oh the planks are there but i can't just can't see them okay well we'll put those into the bag Okay, well, it's only let me do that much, so fair enough. We'll just go back and get the ones when we can. Or we need to, should I say. Which is now. I'm just going to pop it. Let's pop it into my uh, Majesty and get myself overloaded. Why not? I will also be doing an overbreach so that there is more than one thing and I want what I want to do is I, I, I want to make this this base look good rather than just be a, a bunch of um, bits and pieces but I'm going to do the basics first because as you can see compared to where uh, the last character got himself up to a decent level these are looking a bit shabby but that's the point because we are trying to get the XP up so lots and lots of work to do and I'm gonna get on with it and hopefully get my um, my abilities up and drag a lot of logs and stuff so yay we'll drag these so back once I have got myself or my carpentry at least up to another level I will also spend some time getting the mechanics up as well as you can see I have done a little bit there just as an update um, I have managed to get most of the thing up I've also got my carpentry up to three as you can see I've got uh, I can't see it now for some strange reason but should I run across here there you go as you can see we've got the section going and I'm going to have some fun with it. I'm actually going to start connecting the roofs of all this. So I'm going to have this big interconnecting roof section. Uh, <coughs> the other thing is I'm going to do is I'm going to grab myself a wood axe. If 
for raisins. Raisins are quite off are quite obvious. Because a wood axe is there to chop down wood. I don't have wood axe, there's wood axe, so I quit one in both hands. Now hopefully the wood axe is no oh, that's not a very good wood axe. But I am in the class of beggars, so I cannot be in the class of choosers. Let's see how this goes with this, cut down this tree. No, is that, is that quick or is that me? Yeah, that goes down in two sections where I was all the other axes. So this is this axe is obviously specifically for the job. What have I just gone up in? Is it maintenance? Has my maintenance just gone up? I'll have to have a look in the uh, in the replay. See what see what went up. Because I wasn't really looking. I was concentrating more. Cutting down erroneous trees. Is that a tree there? I guess it is. That's just a bush. A bushy bush bush. Well, obviously the, the wood axe makes a complete difference to your chopping, so correct tax for correct job, I think. I suspect using the wood axe on a door is not going to work as well. Oh well, I've removed the bush, see how that goes. Yep, goon. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, just pick up a few of these logs. I'm going to overload myself, because I can. And the one thing I am going to end up doing first, as I go, <coughs> as I cough my guts up. So I still got the cold, I'm afraid. She's going, slowly. Have to have a look at those seedlings as well. See if they need uh, some water. I suspect they do. Oh no, they're still well watered. Cool. I am in the knackered department, so I can't really run that fast or go that fast, so just take my time. Something here. Carpentry. Oh yeah, I need to sort saw the logs first, don't I? Let's get rid of that. Now the sawing logs. Oh it does, yes, yeah, so sawing the logs also gives me carpentry, which is cool. So what I'm going to do with my carpentry, I'm going to put a wall, not wooden wall frame, fence, is that the one? Yeah, I think wooden fence is where we need to go and rotate it round, build that there. I need to 
I'll do the rest of this first. And then I'll go get the cloth. Because what I want to do is I want to make a, a cloth rope. And I want to put, actually I want to put one here as well. floor back and we'll start making the floor some fun here oh I'm out now okay that's fine now I'm out I can go get the clock which I think I put in one of the drawers up here it's rising very slowly but obviously at level 3 carpentry we're getting better and better each time now did I put it in here I did there's the sheet rope there so put that there add a sheet rope there Now, zombies can pull down the sheep ropes, so having more than one around, so there's more than one access to the area, just in case something goes horribly wrong, is uh, a cool way of doing things, I think. But what I am going to do now is I'm going to climb down here and I'm going to start sawing all these logs to get the XP and see if that helps me in any way. And if so, Once we've got the XP, I'm uh, just going to carry on and move on to trying to get my mechanics up so that I can at least um, start hot wiring cars. So I'll carry on doing that and I'll be back with you shortly. Interestingly, I've just done a log and I think I found where one of my characters actually died, uh, which is interesting. Uh, found a thing with crowbar, beta blockers, hiking bags, school bags, and on the floor, machete, the riot helmet, and uh, the big hiking bag. So that's quite cool. I'll uh, I'll deal with that in a bit. But uh, at the moment, my job is to, as you can see at the back here, I've just uh, managed to pull uh, a bit to go across the roof of here. So. My general, my general thing is to get uh, a nice uh, circumference and then start attaching all the roofs together with various points where I can have escape points. So I'll have an escape point out of the actual uh, line of the, <coughs> excuse me, of the um, actual area. So I can literally just escape the whole thing as quickly as possible. And what I might do is if I can get a four by four vehicle of some sort, um, I may end up uh, putting like a, an escape route for the car down which could end up being like maybe just put some uh, wooden floors down and just have the car drive over the wooden floor so that no trees grow around it to uh, a road of some sort so I basically make a road out of wooden floors which uh, it's an idea I may not end up doing it, but I'm effectively making a base where I can escape at any time if I need to. Hence why I'm collecting a lot of vehicles, because I can then put those vehicles 
with some provisions in the back of them. We shall need some food, speaking of provisions. Uh, let's see if those chips. With, with some provisions in the back of them, and maybe a couple of weapons, etc., just in case I find myself caught out. Uh, and which will then allow me to escape fairly unscathed. Whether that actually becomes a possibility in the end, I'm not too sure, but I will need to go out and find as many sets of nails as I possibly can. Because if I'm going to do the escape routes from the two corners out here, and the other question is if I can, because I remember, if you remember the, um, the outer things of, are, are impassable, you can't even jump over them anymore. Which I think you used to be able to, but but they've they the devs have have stopped that nonsense. So uh, quite rightly so, I think. You know, if it's got barbed wire over the top of it, you, you know, it's not something that you'd be really interested in running over. Really, fifteen planks. I don't know if I'm going to carry all those planks, but I'll get as many as I possibly can. So. From this area here, I'd end up doing like, as if, do a search around sort of thing and uh, see, you know, obviously put a, a rope down and clear a path out and see if I can get a car around to, uh, to take that path away, effectively. How many have I picked up so far? Nine. I think that's probably about, probably about 12 is going to be my maximum. Oh no. 13. The good thing about it is I'm overloading myself. I'm hopefully doing my, bringing my strength and my fitness up by constantly pushing myself here. As long as I don't get ill or anything. We'll uh, carry on down there. So yeah, that's 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 the general plan. Is is have escape routes, just in case it. Because you never know with these devs, they, they may end up putting in like a you know a a, um, a horde event, where they attack your base. Wouldn't put it past them to be honest, because they certainly don't like us being comfortable. And I suppose in one way also, you know, it stops the boredom because if you you're spending half your time living, eking your life out behind safe d safety, and there's no threat, you're going to get bored with the game. Really, I would have thought. So you know, having you know, ten, fifteen zombies come and do a horde attack, and you having to deal with that that attack at some point, as a you know, as a uh, a general event. Bit like a helicopter event bringing everything forward you know you could have one where it does close in on on your base your home base how the def how, you, how the game would define it as your home base would probably be a point of how long you know, timing reference points Because each each part on this is has a reference point on it, and um, maybe it would just be a question of if you keep crossing that reference point, or if that reference point keeps being recorded, then uh, that adds to a timer, maybe that. And that timer may be indicative of how many zombies you've, you know, it's like, uh, <coughs> excuse me, time divided by the amount of zombies that you've killed in the last, you know, day or so. At least I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm sure the devs would be able to work it out quite easily. It'd be certainly an interesting mechanic. It would 
bring a little bit more um, excitement. Or, I mean, the other thing is, is just generally over time, as is with zombie movies, the zombies make their way towards you anyway. They somehow find you. Almost they instinctively know that you're there. And very slowly move their way towards you. How many planks have I got? Nine. So I can get 13 up. Fine. Because I know they got, I know they have the the challenge of the zombies attacking your base, and you got to def defend it. But yeah, kind of maybe a migration, a slow migration towards you. I mean, it could be like an option, especially, I mean, in apocalyptic mode, it'd probably be like a requirement. Not sure about the other modes. I mean, that's obviously with the, uh, the, the soft, you know, the base build mode. You know, that's something that, you know, if that's what people enjoy, that's what people enjoy. I mean, I don't mind doing the base building. Um, especially once the you, your carpentry levels go up, then you, you know things get a little bit easier for yourself. But I think in some aspects is is that you don't usually get to test that thing, and I think that's where I'm coming from. Is is the game? You know, you make a you make a base, then the game needs to test that base. Slowly over time. But I mean, I do believe in the the idea that zombies need to be limited, if you see my point. In the regards that there's only you know there's only a finite amount of people in an area that could get zombified, and which means that there's a finite amount of zombies. So you you somehow manage to kill them all, then you've pretty much solved the zombie apocalypse. just by eliminating all the zombies. And I don't I don't mind that. I think I think that's 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 a good thing. I'm also a shambler person. I I, I don't like running zombies. I just I'm a I'm a I'm a Romero sort of I mean I like the idea of, of the initial zombies having speed. You know, as in like initial infection zombies and then they start well as they start right away they get slower. <laughs> Excuse me. I do kind of like the almost like the inevitability of the shamblers getting to you. The fact that they do it slow, I think, is creepier. I mean, if you think about it, the zombies in say twenty-eight days later weren't actually zombies; they were just infected humans. Because they ended up dying once they stopped eating. So that was a question just waiting out the apocalypse. Okay, right. I need to do floors, that's right. Does that go over? Yes, it does. Good. Let's put the fence in. Okay, 
so okay looks like I don't have I think so well I'm gonna put one down here so then I can explore outside this area do you know what I haven't done well I have to be fair I haven't really needed it so that's probably why but yep yeah, so that's the general thing I'm gonna go up there and follow the line so that I've got different ways of, of dealing with it the nice thing is is that I'm probably going to end up chopping the wood down here but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to bed and uh, we'll come back after that uh, just checking the time of how long I've recorded this for and so we do have a bit more time just to see where we're going with the rest of it and hopefully also I could probably tell that bandage off now there we go I forgot to do that usually I, I generally test that all before I start sort of thing so we're nearly halfway with uh, level four I'm gonna go to bed and then we'll deal with a few little bits and pieces like that finding that um, that bag we can grab the bag and bring all the stuff back to the base and I'll see you once I've done that right had a sudden change of plan it's got down to seven degrees we're getting towards christmas time and i don't have any way to keep myself warm so i am thinking that i need to immediately gain get my um get my uh metal ability up and gain get that up as quickly as I possibly can so that I can take the stove out I'm going to do a quick research instead of going there and finding out myself to find out how much metal working I do need to pick up the stove but I'm going to have to go on a road trip um, I'll it, I won't do the road trip as it is because I don't think think I have that much time and I don't want to keep that going forward so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend the time uh, get my metal working up for this time and then drive all the way over to where I know there is a, a stove uh, in a car that will be able to take that so I might have to walk over to the um, to the military base so I can pick up the the 4x4 and uh, sort that there so I'm going to do a quick research find out how much I need to have what, what skills I need to uh, pick up a stove and then I'll work towards that and make sure that I've got all the bits and pieces that I need to do it and then I'm going to go off go get the stove from the camp which was well up uh, here let me just show you okay so obviously I'm down here in Fort Redstone and the um, the survivor camp was up here so I've got to go all the way back through Mordraw, all the way to the survivor camp, unless there's another place that I can find around here. Or maybe I ought to just do some checking, perhaps. Maybe the corn farm. Or if there's something up in Drayton. Actually, there is something here up in Drayton, isn't there? that might have one and there's something up here so I may go up to Drayton first and check so I've got a lot a lot to do and hopefully I'll get it all done within the time but uh, we'll get it done so um, I'll be back once I have got myself to or found myself uh, another uh, stove so that I can keep myself warm back in a bit right so looks like we have ourselves Apart from a zombie catching up. Oh no! Is that a summer? That's a katana. I'll take that, thank you very much. Well, I need in out here quickly. Uh, where are you? There we go. Lift that. There's carpentry that I needed.
Got to get to the car. I'm heavily overweight, but I may, may have just gotten away with this. Shove that on the modes on the ends. There you go. Don't want to touch it this to me. There we go. Let's probably draw every single zombie from. Actually, I need to cross the line, don't I? So we've got the stove. And that's just a question of finding my way back home. I'm hoping this is the path. This is the path. I think it is, yeah. Alright, so just to summarise what I've done, I walked over to the other military base and uh, grabbed the 4x4. Checked over at the farm and then went over to a log cabin near Drayton. Or Drayton rebuild or new build or whatever it's called. Now, these are all the zombies that got attracted by the helicopter event. So that's why there's tons of them here. Just gone up and I've just picked up a stove, an antique stove, which means that now that I can keep warm during the winter months. Not that I survived that long, I think it's more the fact that for once I've I've managed to uh, continue. Because never used to allow me to continue a while earlier, but now I can. So this is just a question of me heading back home. So I'll uh, I'll pick you up when I get back home, and then we can uh, finish off for the day. See you shortly. Right, let's get us inside. Ooh, I'm nice. Uh, <laughs> let's go around then, shall we? There we go. Open that gate up. Oh, no, I want that door. I can drive. At least I can get out now, so I'm a happy boy. Right, now let's pick up the antique oven again. Because the temper is, temperature is slowly dropping. Just wondering where it would be the best place to put it. Maybe here, near where the bed is. So if we put that there. Oh, 
hold button and move cursor. Hold button and move cursor. Ah, there we go. Cool. So that's that done. So I'm going to start picking up the unusable wood. in there All right so that's fuel just to should have a lighter shouldn't I there we go Get some branches and twigs. Okay, so I don't know how long that's going to, uh, I wonder if I can put a pot on the stove, thinking about it. Let's pick this pot up, because I'm sure it's probably got water in it. may as well make some clean water whilst we're heating the room up. Now is that going to get warm? Yes it is, I can see it's starting to get hot there, so that's going to sterilise the water as well. So, <coughs> excuse me, I do apologise. Um, So it's 24.27 there, and then it goes down to 9.3 in there. So, yeah, this is this is my warm room. Maybe if I close the window, perhaps. When it starts to heat up, maybe close some of the doors as well. Three point three, so I can rest in here in the nice warmth, and that'll do with me for the day. So all of that remains for me to say is thank you very much for watching. If you like what you like, press the like button. If you dislike what you dislike, press the dislike button. But please pop something down in the comment section to let me know how I can improve my content for you. Uh, if you like what you see, why don't you press the subscribe button? If you super like it, why not press the bell icon so you get updated for whenever I uh, I put new content out. Also, don't forget you can see me on Twitch, uh, which is number one geek with the number one, not the word one. Uh, you've probably seen it come up on the thing every now and again. 
but uh, that's it. But for all that remains for me to say, thanks for watching. I've been Saz. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.